Being just a short drive away from a world-class natural history museum is one of the great perks of our Earth and Space Sciences program here at Olivet Nazarene University. We take students up to Chicago's Field Museum, where we get a behind-the-scenes tour of their incredible meteorite and fossil collections by one of the collection's managers. Their meteorite collection includes samples of carbonaceous chondrites, ordinary chondrites, iron-nickel meteorites, palisites, and even meteorites that came from the Moon and Mars. It isn't every day you get to say you've held a piece of rock from another planet in your hands. So right now we are headed into the Life Through Time exhibit, which they call Evolving Planet. And behind me here is this life-size, I can't even see it, life-size replica of this Quetzalcoatlus. Let's head inside. One of my first geology vlogs was a video on Sue the T-Rex a couple of years ago when she was still housed in the main hall. So it's nice to get back again and see everything that's changed. Welcome to Jurassic and Cretaceous Park. Okay, so I've never been to this part before. Now we're entering into the new Sue experience, which I'm super pumped about. We're gonna go see Sue in her new digs. Apparently we are in a Cretaceous forest 67 million years ago. Let's check this out. So the schnoz here looks a little deformed. Is this is the real skull. This is the real yeah. skull. And it's deformed because it was crushed during compaction. So when it was buried and lithified, it was oh, deformed. Yeah, it looks deformed. All right, so here's the real head. They got this funky artistic drawing thing up here, which no feathers on it. Not sure what that's all about, but okay. And Sue is behind this wall here, so we're going there next. Whoa. Looking good, looking real good. Okay, that was magic. How'd they do that? This is a great exhibit. Really, really fantastic. Over here, right there, right up in there are the broken ribs. You can see they're healed over. So something cracked at least three ribs, but that didn't kill her. Pretty awesome. What a massive creature. Got a little display here of the arm. 
which is about the size of mine. Kind of dinky if you're 40 feet long, like she was. She, he, don't really know whether this was a male or a female. Obviously it was one or the other, but we don't know which it was yet. Uh, up in here you can see the little dinky arms. Really tiny things. What's new now is the gastralia are in place. These sort of like extra set of ribs almost. Those are newly attached. Those did not used to be installed when Sue was downstairs. And here on this left lower leg right there, you can still see that part which is very diseased. It's really, really large compared to the same bone on the other side. Uh, in suggesting some sort of an infection. And they got sound effects over here, which are pretty scary sounding, gotta say. Here's the other side where this leg bone right here is perfectly normal and healthy. It's that other one on the back side there that is all diseased and weird looking and must have had some sort of an infection on it. They have this screen things back here too which show like, you know, some sort of reconstructions of what it may have been like in the Cretaceous forest that Sue inhabited. Okay, so we're gonna have to put this in the vlog. There's some sort of smelly things here. I've never seen this before. These guys were just telling me about it. So here goes. Whoa. Um, I would call it kind of a pine scent. It's a gummy bear. <laughs> a gummy bear? A gummy bear. It straight up smells like sun, um, sunflower. No, nah, that's a pine. That's a that to me is definitely a pine. That smells like Christmas right there. What's this one? The middle one's the weirdest one. I don't know. This a weird one? Yes. It says ginger like plant up here. Let's see if it smells like ginger. Oh yeah. Kind of smells like ginger. Kind of strange. All right, what's the last one? Some flower. Modern tulip relative cucumbery. Okay, let's see. Yeah, yeah. Ugh, like a flowery cucumber. That's that not a. This is the best part. I don't like that one. What's the? Oh, oh gosh, what is this? Okay, what am I supposed to do? Put your elbows on the two bright spots and put your hands over your ears. It's supposed <laughs> to mimic Sue's sound. How do you do that with the with the vlog? I don't know. Set this... it up on the... See if you can set it up. No, uh, I, I just have to just have to lay it down here. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll do like this. There. What am I doing? I feel. Okay, that was weird. That was really wild. That was cool. I got that. That that was cool. Smelly thing. <laughs> I can already smell it. It's supposed to be the scent of death. Oh wow! That is really strong. That's bad. That's really bad. <laughs> Gotta say, really enjoyed that. Nice new digs, Field Museum for Sue the T-Rex. We're gonna continue on now to the Cenozoic in Cretaceous. Mass extinction. Well, that brings us to the end of the Life Through Time exhibit. We are exiting that now. Pretty amazing, always recommended, A+. Plus. The Sioux store is loaded with all kinds of fun things.
like these little plushies. Ammonites. Fish. <laughs> All kinds of little dinosaurs and pterosaurs and more and more and more. And then you got the silly stuff like the sporkosaur. How about this one? The Nachosaurus. I think I think everybody needs one of those. And the Tacosaurus Rex, also a party favorite.